Alright guys, so we're just going to summarize the vocabulary that we just learned in the dialogue and this is what they look like in the table. So, the first word is yin. It has um, differing spellings but it means the same thing. You can spell it either way and you'll be referring it to the person as you. Yin. Ma. Means to greet. Or in other contexts, they may refer to it as hello. Ma. Is in second person and it means to greet someone. Yan, you can you can spell it as that as these two. So Y E N or the Dinka character oh E N referring to I am or me and at the same time if it's spelt like that this may refer to that person and it all depends on the context it is in achol means to call chol means call or both of these could mean name is Then we have Ring. Ring is the name of a person. It means meat. You can spell it like that or you can spell it like this. The only difference is NG makes the sound of this. So you can just write it as that at the end or NG. And then we have Deng. The same same rule applies. This character equals N G. Gives you the sound. So you can you don't have to write the NG, you can just write that character. And Deng is a name of a person. It means rain. Apol mean is well. Pol mean well. Nga means who. Wamuth means your brother or referring to someone's brother. Wamath means my brother. Lual me means red and is also a name of a person mad means friendship or friend madie means my friend tong tong sorry tong means to say goodbye or leave. You can also spell it like this, tong. But most most of the time, if it's spelled like this, it refers to a spear or spears or fighting or someone is fighting. Yi, k, and ka. These one here refer to someone in second and third person. These one, ka with an A, is someone speaking first person referring to someone in second and third person. Keg, K E and K E E, this is someone referring to someone else in second and third person. 
when they are also in third and second person. Or third and second person, sorry. Gor or a gor means to want or want. Gor means want. Agor means I want. Which means to want. A which means I want. A which. Nin sleep. Anin is asleep. Ba to Abba to come. Just remember Abba and Ba both mean to come. Tid means wait. A tid means to wait. These chan, kwa chan, are special names for twins. Chan, this one, is a boy. A chan is a girl. Ku means and. Jam means to talk. Keg or keg means them. Keg with them. So all these three means them or with them, just depending on the context. Guop means body. Guop with a diastasis on top of the O means the body. Thiai means tired. A one means name of a person or fox or an African jackal. Bai means home or house. Bay means homes or houses. Chun Almost the same as here, but it has this character, which means you emphasize that letter and it means because or as of. So, um, in lesson four, I'm just going to introduce you guys to the days of the week and seasons. And then, so days of the week, reduce your days of the week and season. Lesson B will be a special one because um, it will be focusing on African names, in particular Dinka names, and those names that, those other African names have very common. Um, writing or meaning to Dinka names. And then lesson 3b will be continued the following week because I want you guys to have a broader vocabulary so you can have a broad discussion and learn how to engage in a more deeper conversation with people because if you know how to say the days of the week and the season you can describe what you did on Monday or on a day of the week or what you did in a month or what you did in this season or when your birthday is. Stuff like that. It will help you have a better communication. And that is it. Thanks guys. Appreciate it.